right? We're in the business of staying in business. And the most important part is to let the stocks find you, let the names find you. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I got a basketball game uh, to get to. My daughter has a basketball game. I have to literally leave in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to just echo my thoughts really, really quickly and kind of get a set up for, for uh, the next day. If you guys remember two weeks ago, excuse me, last week, first two days of the week were very, very slow because channels contracted. We talked about this in last night's video. It was very, very important, yada, 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 for the candles to expand, channels to expand. We had this really, really aggressive rally, uh, in especially in the technology names Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So fast forward to Monday. Monday, uh, we had some weakness, right? That was yesterday. We had some weakness. We had some Afghan news. We had some China news. We had some more Delta variant news. And the one thing that bulls did very, very well yesterday was they came down to this uh, 64 level, right? 364 level, they defended it. And not only did they defend it after two hours of kind of a, a battle uh, a, a battle at the 364 level, we closed at the highs of the day. And you look at all the names that closed at the highs of the day with it, you had Amazon, if you guys remember yesterday, put in this ridiculous hammer, one of the most bullish things you could possibly see. Uh, Apple broke out, right? Facebook uh, was on the verge of really, really breaking out. You had Google, uh, ready to take out the 52 week high. So we were ready, we were set up. We had a very, very uh, bullish close. The one thing we kind of revert to yesterday's action, we talk about this, uh, we talked about this last night, was this going to be an indication how things are gonna play out today? It, it never is an indication, but at least it gives you some sort of clue, some sort of uh, guideline of what's about to happen. And usually when, I'm, when I have a long bias, right? Like I did uh, for, for today, when, you, when I have on my watch list, uh, a Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, it's usually very, very bullish, okay? Incredibly bullish. And the one thing that we always warn, and it's a very, very important point, is when there is materialistic news, remember, we have not had materialistic news uh, to hit the market in a very, very long time. The last one was Delta, but we've been kind of gradually pushing it to the side because we were kind of, we, we kind of know what's happening here with this new world. And the one thing that we don't like, and especially when we say we is the whole trader community, is uncertainty. We showed that yesterday uh, with the news, with Afghanistan, so forth and so on. And then we, we I opened up the computer today, I, I look and I go, well, how are the futures down X amount? You know, they're down pretty aggressively. And I said, hey, look, look that's uncertainty. But on any gap down, and we always talk about this, on any gap down, um, in a bullish scenario, because yesterday was a definitely a bullish scenario that the bulls held, obviously the values to the upside. And again, there was definitely value today. Um, the natural pivots weren't an abundance, how I picture it, but there was definitely, uh, we talked about, uh, we talked about a buying the dip yesterday on the video on a 60 minute bounce on Facebook, on Apple, actually, uh, Apple actually got uh, red to green. So there was a lot of value in the bounces today. Okay. Even on Tesla initially, uh, off that 361 area, but there wasn't a lot of natural pivots. There was a couple towards the end of the day. There was a, a Tesla pivot off 660 to close pretty well. Uh, and was, uh, DOCS that I caught uh, a piece of earlier in the day, but there wasn't that one of that, one of those days that everything is moving because everything was organic. Everything was choppy because everything was uncertain. That's kind of what we are today. And that's kind of where we want to start this uh, update. If you look at the cues today, what they did was yesterday, they went below that 64 level, recovered, went higher. Today, they took down the 364 level, took down yesterday's low, and you say to yourself, that's it, you know, this is it, right? This, you know, how many times can they test this level? There is no fresh materialistic news. We should kind of, gun to my head, we should probably sell off into the close and establish a lot of short setups for tomorrow's session. Yada, 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 not so fast. The Qs reclaim that level and explode $2 into the close. And in the meantime, before you turn around and say, well, that's super bullish. Yeah, remember yesterday's close was super bullish also. And I'm still waiting for Amazon, right? Amazon, Facebook, and everything else to, to confirm. So before we talk about bullish, we have to talk about reality. And the reality is when you look at a lot of charts, both long and short, we're in no man's land right now. We are as sloppy as my mother-in-law 
in an all-day buffet, right? All-you-can-eat buffet. That's kind of where we are. That's kind of reality. So from last week, the Monday and Tuesday, we just had to wait before, just because the distribution is usually four to five days long and channels were going to expand. They expanded on Wednesday. We're kind of facing a different scenario. We're facing a scenario that we have macro news in front of us uh, that are, the market is still digesting. And as great as the bulls continue to you know, re-defend that 364 level on the queues. The problem is now the shorts look like crap, the longs look like crap, and now we're sitting in no man's land. And I, and I said this, and I say this all the time. Yeah, look, is there some ideas that I like for tomorrow? Sure, right? Look at PayPal, right? Look at PayPal. It's held this double bottom here uh, twice. I'm watching this thing to the downside. I'm watching this, you know, beyond it's defended this level in the bottom channel here three times as well, right? You know, they look good. Zoom had, a, you know, there was a really aggressive pivot a couple of days ago off this 352. It looks like another channel is forming to the downside. Yeah, there's definitely some names I like to the upside as well. Uh, maybe like an Etsy, right? Maybe like an Etsy that looks pretty good. We talked about Etsy a couple of times. Uh, remounting this area here it looks really strong. Uh, you look at a name like BIIB that we covered last night on the video, right? Uh, last night, a video off this uh, 348 that closed pretty much the highs. It needs one more day to, to break this macro cycle. But for all those few names that look good, we're in no man's land, guys. We, we really are. And this is where, you know, we kind of reiterate the point that technically, yes, it, it, the Qs did their job everything looks great. We don't trade based on the closing price of the indexes. We're trading based on value. And when you look at charts, and I, I really, really hope, especially for you new traders, if you're looking to develop, right? And, and again, I don't care if you don't know what a chart looks like. The more muscle memory, the more times you look at charts, something's going to click, even if you don't have any formal training. So that's that. So if you're doing your research tonight, you're going to see the same things that I did. Yes. Is there going to be some areas that we could take advantage of tomorrow? There always is. Like today, for example, majority of the day was on bounces, right? On bounces into rising support. Like we mentioned, uh, Apple, Facebook, even Tesla, right? There were names that you could definitely take advantage of, but for, for the more technical parts of the market they're looking for clean breaks either to the upside to the downside there's not enough fear yet to close the queues below the 364 yet and there's obviously no aggression to take the market higher because a lot of these charts look like death look like absolute death uh, and, and they're all in the middle of their ranges. Listen, is it possible to get a dead cat bounce day tomorrow? There are some names that are holding up fairly well as well. I mean, Netflix, for whatever reason, right, is, was, was up on the day. God knows. It still needs a little bit of work. Actually, it still needs a lot of work to get out of this channel. But, but again, the, the, the market is sending us mixed signals. This is where you put on your big boy, your big girl pants, and establish yourself as an adult. As, as much as we we love clicking the mouse. And again, when I say we, I mean you, right? I look for <laughs> those days, that honeymoon stage of is the market open uh, is, is far gone. I'm on year 22, not 22 months. So that's all gone. So we're looking for really good value every single day. And this is where you really, uh, really have to understand that a lot of the days are going to be really good, right? Really good, whether the market is up, down, uh, or indifferent, as long as it's channeling, right? As long as it's channeling very organic, you're going to be fine. When you're in a spin cycle, right? Like I like sushi, love sushi. I love peanut butter, right? I wouldn't put peanut butter on sushi. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not, but this is what all it is. We're getting a whole bunch of stuff, throwing it in the blender, and now you have to drink it. Guys, do not prostitute your money. We've been saying this for years, but this is where you really make your bones. Remember, the foundation, the long game, think of the long game. Again, you're going to get some opportunities tomorrow, but it's not going to be an opportunities for a measured potential move of $10, $11. I give you my word. Can you trade channels tomorrow? Can you get some balances tomorrow? Absolutely. There's always will be something, but this is when you have to switch gears. You, you hear me talking about uh, switching gears all the time. You, there's a time to get super duper aggressive because the channels are so clean. The measure potential is so obvious. And then there's times that, again, you're getting sardines, right? You're getting sardines, you're getting Swiss cheese, and you're getting dirty socks in a blender, and now you have to drink it. No thanks, right? I'm not in the business for prostituting my money. I'm not in the business because I have to trade because I love it so much, right? We're in the business of staying in business. And the most important part is 
to let the stocks find you. Let the names to find you. Again, are there stocks that are moving up three, four hundred percent? Some stock with the letter V apparently went up like four hundred percent today. Yeah, that's not those. You know, that's not the river I swim with. I don't care about those names. Okay, I care about technology. I care about beta. I t I look at things that are organically coming in cycles. And for the one percent that something could be up four hundred percent again, God bless. That's not for me. It's, you know, I have the, you know, I don't have FOMO. Okay. I have JOMO, the joy of missing out. So right now we have to assess the situation. Um, I have some long ideas for tomorrow. I have some short ideas for tomorrow. Again, maybe this is me one of those times that we are pleasantly surprised, but when you look at the indexes and again, it all started with the IWM that they could not reflect, excuse me, not reclaim that 225 area. You had the spies that were going linear for a very, very long time came back into support. And again, the bulls did a great, great job, but in the process of doing a great job, it let it let a lot of setups or a lot of names be in absolutely no man's land, right? You look at AMD, that was one of the biggest movers uh, for the last several weeks, it's a no man's land. You look at Amazon drifting, and I and I really loved Amazon going to today's session, reclaiming the five day moving average, and it gave back half of its bar that it had the most bullish close that I saw in Amazon for a very very long time off of rising support. So the middle finger is in the air, right? You have Facebook, not here nor there. You have Apple continuing to build over the 150 area, which is super duper bullish. And if we do have an area of the market that continues to be strong based on today's kind of hold, right? Hold and defend, then maybe let's watch Apple on opening ranges back to the channel or continue to look at Apple on rising support dips. But again, from the point of from the point of value, it's very minimal. And again, our job is to make sure that we're looking at the market that we have and not the market that we want. Again, your job is to stay in business. If you're a new trader, this is great. This is fantastic. It doesn't seem like it's great. It doesn't seem like it's fantastic, but this is the greatest thing that you could possibly have for development. Again, anybody could trade a bull market. Very few can trade a bear market, but if, you, but if you've been trading for a long time, for us, it really doesn't make a difference. Everybody loves a bull market now, prefer a bull market. Again, everybody's better looking in the bull, bull market. Food tastes better. Everybody's happier, but it doesn't make a difference. You know, if the market starts to contract and we start t having technical damage like we did a few weeks ago, if you guys remember a few weeks ago, we had this rolling top and then we really had, you know, seven days of really good down to the outside. But pick a direction for God's sake, okay? These days of defending levels and rallying into the close does absolutely no favors for everybody. You know, I would have loved, I would have loved at this juncture for us to close below 364 and we would have had a ton of setups for tomorrow. But again, like I said before, it's not the market that we want, it's the market we have, so we have to do our best. Again, life gives you lemons, Da, 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 you make lemonade. Guys, God bless. I got to run to this basketball game. Stay patient, right? You don't need to trade every single day. Stay patient. Stay calm. There's no stress. There's no rush. Think of the long game. Guys, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.